and I've never been on TikTok before, so the confusion is just immense. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Today we're going to be getting into a box that I don't- have we done one of these recently? You all have better memory than I do. It's this one right here, the Glow Addict Beauty Box for the month of September. Uh, this box right here is an $18.95 subscription. $18.99, $18.95, somewhere in that ballpark. I do also think there's shipping included, not 100% sure, but I think there is, which makes this kind of like a boxy charm price level subscription. Inside of here you're supposed to get five to seven products and they can range from like indie brands all the way up to like well-known brands. There's something in there that sounds like it jingles more than it should. In the past this box has come with a lot of Ruby May cosmetics and Castiel. No not Castiel. Cast cosmetics. It just reminds me of Castiel. Oh and looking right here on the top it looks like we have yet another Ruby May product. Oh maybe multiple Ruby May products. Oh it's absolutely boiling hot already. Okay, so the very first thing we have in here is from Dr. Botanicals. This is the Moroccan Rose Superfood Face Oil. And uh, my face is bare right now because I will be trying some of these products on. I wonder if this is going to smell like rose. I didn't know so many other people had an aversion to the scent of rose. I thought I was the only one because rose is supposed to be a nice scent, a lovely scent. And it honestly is if it's in like the form of a rose. But if something wants to extract the juices, I can't. I don't like it. This comes in a pretty little glass bottle with a dropper. Oh, that doesn't smell like roses at all. I, for the life of me, can't tell you what this smells like, but I like the scent of it. Mm, it almost smells like black opium a little bit, which is one of my favorite perfumes ever. It's also very sticky. I, it's like I can almost feel something happening. Like my hand is like pulsing a tiny bit and I, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. It's not like a burning or a tingling, but like I can feel like something. Okay, so the next thing we have in here is a very large and uncharged pair of Ruby May lashes. This is definitely a reoccurring brand in this box. These are the Ruby May Premium 3D Lashes in the style 3D 35 Kimmy. These are for sure a very bold lash and I'm guessing, well, yup it is. Okay, so the little thing that was bouncing around in there is a tiny little bottle of eyelash glue. Why would I smell that? Oh, that smells awful. Uh, will I be trying these on today? That is not confirmed. But anyway, so we have lashes. The next thing we have in here is from Cara Beauty. This is a Glow Crush highlighting powder. I got mine in the shade Daydreamer. That is incredibly pink. Man, you guys, there's like, there is stuff. Stuff is happening on the back of my hand. It's like I can almost feel it getting more plump. Huh. Truly fascinating stuff. Okay, so the next thing we have here is the Glow Crush Powder. This has a pretty little package to it. It's like nice and pink on top, but it's also um, super pink on the inside. So it also kind of looks like it's already been like spilled out or something. There's no safety seal on the actual little holes itself. So some of the powder has gone all over the place. Oh yeah, that's um, that's way too pink for me to be an actual highlight. Maybe if I used it super, super light-handed as like a blush topper, but just, just a streak of pink on my cheek probably wouldn't work out too well, at least for me and what I go for for highlight. It just has way, way, way too much color for it to be like a true highlight for me. I mean, it's shiny, so I'm, I'm sure it would do the job. It would just also be very shiny and very pink. All right, so next up here, we have a... It leaked a little. Um, We have a makeup remover from Twin Medics, a Pro Refine makeup remover. It is supposed to be pre pit poo. Not, not that. Um, it is supposed to be plant friendly and 100% vegan for all skin types. It did leak out just a little bit. This definitely isn't a full size item. I'm not 100% sure how many full size items are supposed to come in this box. All right, and then the next up here we have something else from Ruby May Cosmetics. This is the Ruby May Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner. I'm gonna assume in black because subscription boxes don't know other colors exist. So uh, this is probably either a felt tip or a little brush tip eyeliner and I just received one of these from Hank and Henry in my other box. I, I just did boxy charm. So I don't think I'm actually going to be opening this up or trying it out today because I don't want it to go to waste. And then finally, the last thing we have in here is for Fantasy. Uh, this is the Fantasy by Yas Glitters. I'm sorry, I think that's the first time I've ever said Yas before. Oh, glitters for sure. All right, so this is what the palette looks like. And this column here is nothing but just like big, bold, intense glitters. This red one's actually kind of beautiful. I'm excited about that. The palette is an interesting mix 
of different types of shades. There are some mattes and shimmers in here. Oh, iced coffee. I really hope the pigmentation is good. This looks like something that'll be fun to play around with. I can't, I literally, I'm trying my best to focus on what I'm doing right now, but the back of my hand feels so weird that I keep getting distracted by it. I'm like, what is, what's happening? And it's not red. It doesn't look irritated at all. It doesn't feel like it's burning. It just feels like there's something happening. Am I a little nervous to put it on my face? Mm-hmm. Uh, but am I also incredibly intrigued? Also, also, mm hmm Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and move- oh wait, is there like a thing that tells us how much this stuff is? No, there's not. Man, I feel like the last time we did this, there also wasn't a card that told us like the price breakdown of everything. I think that's a super, super important part in a subscription box. If I were to ever curate my own subscription box, which likely will never happen, I feel like that's something you definitely need to include. You need to be super transparent with like the value of the items that are inside your box. But yeah, I don't know. I just feel like that's definitely something that should be included. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get on into the try on portion of this. I would love to test this out and see if my face inflates or something, but I think I'm gonna do maybe like a little trial section just on like the side of my cheek tonight or something like that just to see if I have any crazy reaction to it. So quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and put on like the base of my face and then I'll be right back to try on everything else. All right, so the base of my face is done. I've gone ahead and done a little bit of blush, but I'm gonna be using this highlight as a blush topper because I just, I can't like it. That's just too pink for highlight for me. So I'm just gonna tap into this very lightly and just oh okay lighter much lighter okay so as an actual blush topper I like it but you do have to go like crazy light-handed with it um this cheek is very shiny but that, I mean that's okay if you're wanting to go for like a a glowy look I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to blow out the candle. I think the camera is just confused. It keeps turning me blue. I think it's reading the orange from the candle and it keeps turning the video blue because it's like, oh no, that, that's too much yellow. Make it blue. <laughs> Is that better, you weird piece of technology? I'm gonna add just like a little bit of a lighter highlight to the top of my cheeks and down the bridge of my nose because I don't want that really, really pink on my nose. I don't know, would that be like a like an e-girl thing to do if I did use pink highlighter on my nose? There's a lot of terms that I don't understand recently and it's making me feel old. What's an e-girl? What's an e-boy? Foremost, what is a visco girl? Can someone help me out here? I can't watch a YouTube video. Well, I guess I'm, I'm mentioning it right now, so I guess it's a little contradictory to be bringing it up, but I can't watch a YouTube video recently without somebody talking about a visco girl, and I, I don't know what's happening. I'm just very out of my element. I, just, I don't know what's going on. I think it has something to do with TikTok, and I've never been on TikTok before, so the confusion is just immense. Wow, random rant. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, eye eyeshadow. So the next thing we're gonna do is try out this eyeshadow and yeah, I, I have to. I have to try out one of these glitters. Do I not? I feel like I really, I just, I have to. Oh lordy, that is, <laughs> that's very glittery. I don't have like a glitter base or anything like that or like a sticky tacky base. I have eyelash glue but I, I don't know if in any way you're supposed to put that all over your eyelid. It seems like it sticks pretty good though which means I'll never get it off. Blah, blah, blah. Oh no, I just rubbed it all over my brand new leggings. Okay, so since we were having a blue problem earlier, I'm just gonna embrace it and um, I think I'm gonna do something with blues. I tried my best to do in a recent video a blue look and it ended up looking like a Tide Pod. So I'm gonna see if I can redeem myself somewhat and uh, make something that's a little bit prettier. Holy guac and chips, it's hot. Okay, so the first shade I'm gonna use is probably gonna be this messy chip shade just as like a transition. Doesn't smell very good. Seems to be blending out pretty well though. Now I think I'm gonna take this aqua E shade here and put that towards like the outer corner and really like pack it in and make it super, super blue. I found one technique that I like and I run with it. Okay, I'm gonna pack this on pretty heavily and then try to blend out just a little bit. Okay, so this blue color is kind of really cool. I like it quite a bit. Um, I was gonna cover it up a bit with glitter, but I like it a lot. So I don't really know what I wanna do. I almost just kind of wanna like lightly disperse glitters on it instead of like really really packing it on oh my god there's literally glitter everywhere oh oh there's glitter in there for sure oh proceed with caution i did not read to see if these are eye safe before i just started slapping them on my eyeball i don't even know if it tells you on the package i was just trying to place like a couple glitters under my eye to give like that like ooh, there's like a shine on the bottom lash line but it looks like i've just painted like a sad clown tear on my bottom lid all right so the more i do the more i realize that this look here just requires an absurdly large pair of lashes so i'm gonna quickly go ahead and finish up this eye over here slap on this my mash of the and uh, then I guess that'll be it. 
Okay, so I don't know exactly how we fully got to this level of makeup. Um, I was going to do a very subtle try on today and now we're here. Um, I don't like these lashes. <laughs> I have to say they're very like, can you all see that? I promise you I did not realize how truly horrifying that angle would be. I don't know. They just don't look... <laughs> Nothing on my face looks natural. But they don't look natural like at all. I also had a hard time getting them on. Um, we had some whoopsies along the way. They just seemed like really stiff. They weren't like naturally shaped to the eye. I don't, just not my favorite lashes. The look, I mean, it's a, it's a look. Uh, I don't mind it actually. I don't know where on earth I would ever wear those two, but it's kind of fun. The glitter, again, I did not check to see if it was eye safe and I don't honestly think it says literally anywhere on here if it actually is. So please just use caution when using this palette. Also, it will get stuck all over you and will likely never come off. This box, I'm just not super sure about. I know that they are still kind of new-ish, but I feel like I wouldn't pay the same amount for this box as I would like a boxy charm. The standout for me in this box was definitely the palette. The blue in here is super pigmented, really pretty, and I feel like a lot of the other shades will be pretty as well. But the rest of it, I just, I'm not, I don't know. I'd love to hear all of y'all's thoughts and opinions though. What do you think of this box? Have you tried it out before? Do you like it? Do you not? You can leave all those opinions down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. So thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing. <laughs> if you would not mind, it would mean the absolute world to me. And I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs>